Hi, my name is Steve Pike, Agricultural Engineering at Hadlow College. Uh, just here today to talk to you a little bit about the course and give you a bit of a tour of the workshop. So the sort of things that we will be working on is this particular tractor here, which is a Voucher, it's a brand new tractor to us. Um, we do remedial work on this, such as servicing, which is what it's here for today. Bit of servicing, making sure it's fit for work. Um, we do lots of other things in the workshop as well, so we might work on older tractors and vehicles. We also do a lot of fabrication um, to keep things going. And our ethos really within the workshop is to um, look after, repair, maintain anything that's agricultural based. So that might be a tractor, it might be a combine, it could be something that hangs on the back of a tractor, a power harrow for instance, or a plough. Um, we repair and we maintain all of these things. Really what we're looking to do is to keep all of agriculture moving all the time rather than having it sat in a workshop or having downtime in a field. Uh, and to that end we may well have to manufacture parts as well. Sorry, did you say you wanted a 17 mil spanner? Hold on a minute. Thank you. So whilst he's over there working on the Veltra, I'm over here working on a slightly older tractor. And this is the sort of thing that you could expect to be working on whilst you're here with us in the workshop. This is uh, one of our workhorses, it's a Massey 135. And it's used a lot by Equine and is in at the moment for some fairly serious engine work. Um, and if you were to be in the workshop with us, you would be stripping the tractor down to get the engine out and then probably taking the engine apart and diagnosing the faults and then rebuilding the engine back to how it should be. Um, this is quite a common occurrence for us. We cover engines, we cover transmissions, we cover chassis systems and braking systems, all the steering systems, pretty much everything that you can think of that's on a tractor, uh, but we also cover some of the stuff that's on some of the implements. Did somebody say they want a screwdriver? So as well as working on the new stuff and some of the older stuff, we do like to do restorations as well. Um, this is a tractor that the students were working on last year. Uh, it came in from a customer um, in a very dilapidated state and the students set about um, repairing and restoring it. And this covers a lot of the units that are to do with fabrication. So there's been quite a lot of panel beating and welding and paint spraying on this vehicle. It's now done up to a fairly nice shiny state. Um, and we'll go back to the customer as it was a, a customer's job. A lot of the work that we do in the workshop is customer work. It, it keeps the jobs timely, it makes the workshop more of a commercial based workshop uh, and it means that you're working to deadlines and pricing as well. Anybody say they want pliers? Thank you. So here we are in the welding shop. Um, this is the area that we do a lot of our fabrication in. Uh, and we teach a lot of welding and, and fabrication here. Um, we do four different disciplines of welding. We do MIG welding, we do TIG welding, we do ARC welding and oxycetylene or gas welding. Uh, it's quite important that we teach all of these disciplines because different welding disciplines are used for different applications. Um, I hope you've enjoyed our tour of the workshop and the welding shop. Um, it's, it's good to show you and hopefully We'll see you here soon. Thank you very much.